praise, honor, glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, a Kakadash. Double honors to the elders and our apostles, the great millstone taught us the truth and salutations to the hopeful elect that's around the four corners of the globe. Yahweh, who the world inly calls God, by Hashem is in the name. Yahweh Shai, who the world inly calls Jesus Christ and Jehovah, the Rakakodach, which is the Holy Spirit. You know, I'm the brother Iwan Wami, joined with uh, the Wah. Yeah, we're the brothers of GM at Chicago. Come back at uh, coming back at you with another lesson. Lord willing, this lesson be edifying. We're going to entitle this lesson. You know, two thirds of our people are going to be destroyed. You know, so um, I'm going to start off with this one. This is a uh, this is the book of Amos nine and eight. It says, "Behold, the eyes of the Lord Yahweh are upon the sinful kingdom." It says, and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, saith the Lord. Right. The Lord is not ultimately uh, utterly going to destroy the house of Jacob. You know, you know, because what the Lord is going to destroy two thirds of our people. and The Lord is going to keep that remnant. What, what is that remnant? The remnant is what? The one hundred forty four thousand and the one third, you know, twelve thousand, you know, uh, prophets out of each tribe. You got the uh, the one third, you know, the, you know, the, that, that remnant, the Lord is going to have mercy on, you know. Uh, verse 9, it says, For lo, I will command and I will sift the house of Israel among all nations. Meaning what? We will scatter amongst the all nations. It says, Like as corn is sifted in the seed, he says, Yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. But here's the point I wanted to get into. This is the book of Amos 9 and 10. It says, All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. Or all the sinners of the Lord people, you know, shall be destroyed by the, uh, by the sword. And that's two thirds, you know, of our people, you know. And we can probably say that second address, uh, select that Zachariah with that Zachariah 13 and 8. Yeah. We can probably say that one for last, but um, because that's that's definitely a, a, a stamp, you know, for the for the lesson. But just to say that all you know, the sinners of the Lord's people is going to perish. And we, you know, was reading that, what was that Jeremiah 15 and 2? Hey, uh, if you can grab that real quick, that Jeremiah 15 and 2, you know, how you know the Lord is, you know, is going to deliver our people through, you know, through basically through the four sword judgments, you know, the noisome beasts, the pestilence, and different things of that nature. I believe it's Jeremiah 15 and 2, is it? Hold on, let me bring it up real quick. Jeremiah uh, 15 and 2. Kai, you want to read it? Uh, this, is the, <clears throat> this is the book of Jeremiah 15 and 2. And it shall come to pass if they say unto thee, Whether shall we go forth? Then thou shalt tell them, Thus saith the Lord such as are for the death to death for such as are for the sword to the sword and such as are for the famine and to the famine and such as are for the captivity to the captivity yeah right you know these are the things that the lord is setting up for the wicked uh the wicked of our people two-thirds of our people you so-called negroes latinos and native americans you know the lord you know has something special in a gruesome way for you two-thirds you know Read verse 3 also. And it's uh, Jeremiah 15 and 3. And it reads, And I will appoint over them of four kinds, saith the Lord, the sword to slay and the dogs to the tear, and the fowls of the heaven and the beasts of the earth to devour and destroy. destroy. It's, all, you. it's all good, brother. Yeah, this is the four sword judgments. You know, we're gonna we're gonna uh, play them back again. What's that? The uh, the sword to slay, the dogs to tear, the fowls of the heaven, and the beasts of the earth to devour and destroy. These are the things that the Lord is setting up for two thirds of our people. You know, so let's get the let's go back. Let's get a uh, let's get a uh, Proverbs one and twenty three. It says, uh, turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you, and I will make my known uh, my words unto you. Meaning what? The Lord is going to reveal certain things to you, you know? But ultimately, you know, the, you know, ultimately you got to get yourself right if you want the Lord to deal with you. You know, you can't be out here doing any and everything. It says, because I have called and you, re and you refused, I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. It says, but ye have set a knot all my counsel and or none of my reproof. Because when you have Jays that come up to the camp, you know, they just walk by. Or they just talk shit, you know. They disregard what I'm reading that second that is now. You know, they disregard the law, statutes, and commandments of the Lord. It says, "I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear coming." Right? The Lord is going to laugh at that calamity. So when they're in hell, when they're suffering, when they're in that torment, the Lord is going to laugh like, "Ha! I told you so. You know, this is going to happen if you didn't follow me." You know, and this is going to 
you know, overtake two thirds of our people. What's that? Jacob's trouble, Jeremiah 30 and 7. And it says, um, when your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. Right. It's two thirds, of, you know how two thirds of our people love to get right at the last moment when they going through some shit. Yep. You know, so our people only want to get right when they're going through some shit. They only call on the Lord when they're going through some shit. And it's not even the right name at that, you know. And it says, um, for they, verse 29 says, for they, so like it, for that they had a knowledge and not, uh, and did not choose the fear of the Lord, right? That they, they had a knowledge. What's that, that? Hosea 4 and 6? Yep. My people, what's that? My people are destroyed for the for lack, lack of knowledge. knowledge. Yeah. Ultimately, 1447 on that bus. Call on y'all, but y'all shot. But, <laughs> that's it, raw. Um, yeah, raw as hell, but. <laughs> Yeah, our people just hate knowledge. And the knowledge is on the highways and byways, by the way of the prophets. You know? It says, verse 31, it says, Therefore shall they eat of the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices. Right? So basically, the things that our people are into, you know, that all that's going to overtake them. You know? Matter of fact, yeah, since we uh, mentioned the Hosea 4 and 6. Yeah, yeah let's get that right Hosea up. 4 and 6. Hold on, let me get to it. So lock here, brother. Sorry, bro. This is the book of Hosea 4 6. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. Thou that thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing that thou hast forgotten the law of thy power, Yahweh thy power, and I will also forget thy children. Well, our people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. That's plain. Just look at Jake out here, you know? You know, they, you know, they go, they, they lean on their own understanding. You know, that's what leads to a, a lot of our people's destruction. And it says what? It says, I will also forget thy children. That's why a lot of Jake children die. What? The, those, those uh, dry bass, you yeah. know, whatever the case may be. The Lord is out here judging our people because what? The, they rejected knowledge. So what? It says what? You know, the Lord is also going to reject thee, you know? That's why, that's why the scripture say the Lord, you know, is, is a jealous power. Our people doing what they want to do not return unto the lord so what you know we're the lord's woman you know and when you know if you don't want to act up and you know do anything and everything you know you're gonna you're gonna feel some type of way you know and the lord is angry with our people okay. so let's go back that was it on that hosea 4 6 right yeah okay. it says that was pretty much on the proverbs but one in 23 let me see uh yeah that's really 32 for the turning away for the simple shall slay them and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. It says, verse 33, But whoso hearkeneth unto me shall dwell safely and shall be quiet from the fear of evil. And who's ultimately going to, you know, who's ultimately going to hearken unto this, uh, unto the word, unto you, how about you, how shot? The elect, the 144,000 and one third. You know, Lord willing, we be a part of that number. You know, to be, at the, you know, the, the first fruits, Lord willing. Uh -huh. You know? And shall be quiet from the fear of evil. And ultimately, the elect is going to have that protection, Psalms 91, that we always go into. Let's get that um, Ezekiel 9 and 4. This is the book of E. You know, yeah. This is the book of Ezekiel 9 and 4. It says, And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark. That's that mark of exemption, different from the mark from Revelation 13 and 16. And set a mark upon them, uh, upon the foreheads of the men that signed that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. Right? So the mark of exemption is upon those men that signed that cry of the hopeful righteous elect. You know? That mark of exemption so you're not going to get that judgment it says verse 5 it says and to the others he said in my hearing go ye after him through the city and smite smite means to kill let not your eyes spare neither have ye pity right so the lord is going to see these deaf angels out you know when things get real real bad out here jeremiah 37 jacob's trouble the lord is really finna really you know send, send these deaf angels you know deaf angels down here you know verse 6 it says, Slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women, but come not near any man upon whom is the mark, that mark of exemption. And begin at my sanctuary, then they began at the ancient men, which were uh, which were before the house. Right, so the Lord is not going to have pity on old, young children of our nation. You know, as the scriptures say, you know, judgment must begin at the house of the Lord. And it's going to start at, you know, the ones that know that they're Israelites. You know, that's not doing the right thing. You know, let's get that second measure. Nah. Okay. Second Ezra is nine and uh, let's start at uh let's see. Second Ezra is nine and uh, eight. 
This is the book of Second Nature's nine and eight. It says, "Shall uh, shall be preserved from the said." Actually, let's start at verse seven. Second Nature's nine and seven says, "Everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith, whereby ye have believed." Right. So you gotta have works, you know, you know, uh, to basically, you know, to show your faith. You know, you gotta have the works behind it. You know. It says, verse 8, shall be preserved from the set of perils. The perils, you know, we read about it in Jeremiah, uh, Jeremiah 15 and 2. The four sword judgment, the sword, the famine, the, the beast, the noisome beast, you know, the pestilence. Okay. And it says, and shall, and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders, for I have sanctified them from uh, for me from the beginning. It says, verse 9, and then shall they be in pitiful case, which now have abused my ways. And how do our two-thirds of our people abuse the Lord's ways? You know, leaning to their own understanding, following their own path, doing what they want to do, not regarding the law, statutes, and commandments of the Lord. It says, um, and they have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. Right? They're gonna suffer. The Lord is gonna put, you know, that 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 mass hill upon two thirds of our people. Right. It says, uh, for such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me. What's that? What do two thirds of our people receive in and take glory in? Child support, food stamps, social security, different things like that. You know, <laughs> it says, uh, verse 11 says, They have that, uh, says, like it. It says, They that have loved my law, that means hated those that had hated the Lord's law, two thirds of our people hate the Lord's law, while they had yet liberty, and when that place of repentance was opened up to them, understood not, but despised it. Our people despise the Lord, you know. These are the same ones that basically said, What, you know, you know, uh, let our blood be upon us and our truth, you know, when the Lord was being crucified. You know, it said verse four. The same must know after death by pain. So, what we read back in that Jeremiah fifteen and two, you know, about the four sword judgment. This was going to come upon two thirds of our people. Okay. Uh, so, while you could probably close out with that, uh, that Zechariah thirteen and uh, eight okay. through nine. This is the book of Zechariah, chapter thirteen, verse eight, and it shall come to pass that. In all the land, saith the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. In uh, Zechariah 13 and 9, and it reads, And I will bring the third part through the fire, and I will refine them as silver, it's refined, and will try them as gold is tried. They shall call upon, they shall call on my name, and I will hear them. I will say it is my people. They shall say, "The Lord is my God." Yeah, how will thy power? Yeah, and that's exactly right. You know, if you read Zechariah thirteen and eight, and it says, "You know, two parts therein shall be cut off and die." Here in America, two thirds of our people is going to be cut off and die. You know, the Lord is going to gruesomely take out two thirds. You know, and it says what the third part. You know, He's going to bring the third part to the fight. What's the third part? The elect, the hundred forty-four thousand, and the one third. That's destined to be delivered. You know, that's ordained to be delivered, the first fruits, you know? And that's ultimately who's going to make it out of here. Two-thirds of our people that's here in America, another, you know, uh, place around the world is going to be cut off and die. That's the scripture says. That's at the Bible. So with that being said, we hope this lesson was edifying. You had anything else, brother? No, so with that being said, we hope this lesson was edifying. We're going to end up by giving our praise on the glory too. Yeah, how will Ba Shem, Yah will Shai, Ba Shem, and Karkadash. That one is to the elders and the apostles of the great millstone, taught us the truth. And salutations to the hope for the light that's around the four corners of the globe. Global, and we hope this is edifying. Until next time, walk a baba ball. Walk, walk, walk.